Can we pretend that airplanes in the night sky like shooting stars? I could really use a wish right now, wish right now, wish right now. Can we pretend that airplanes in the night sky like shooting stars? I could really use a wish right now. Because poverty has been growing so much in just one year, we wanted to make more of a personal connection to poverty. We wanted to be more than a statistic. So we interviewed people to see how their lives can relate to poverty and what poverty looks like to them. To poverty is that uh, I grew up without it. I was extremely privileged as a middle class person, white person in America. Um, so I don't personally have a big connection to poverty. I grew up in a small private school, went there since kindergarten. I wouldn't say I had much experience growing up with poverty. My parents kind of made it like a pretty big deal to make sure I had everything that I needed. I don't have any personal connections with poverty, but I grew up in Brazil, so I, I, I'm kind of aware of the situation of poverty and poor communities and violence. I don't really have any personal connections to poverty, but growing up in South Texas, it was very visible to me. So, most of us lacked a personal connection to poverty. But hey, we live in the land of the free, home of the brave. We have white picket fences, suburbia, and credit cards. How could poverty exist? We don't ever see it. But it could be that maybe people who are impoverished look the same as us. They're not always homeless or lined up for soup kitchens. Does poverty exist in America that we can't really see? We set out to find out what poverty looks like. Does it really have some sort of distinguishing factor? We want to know what we can do to help. Poverty affects every part of my neighborhood where I came from, I'm from Los Angeles. Uh, considered a middle class neighborhood, but in reality, uh, people are just impoverished. I guess my story would be, starting back with my parents, um, my mom and dad both went to high school in a small town. They both dropped out and moved to Austin, ended up separating when I was like three. So it's been like a rough road, like mom's like jumping from job to job, pretty much all minimum wage, like we can't own a house. Wait a second. Did she say that she came from an impoverished neighborhood? Did she say that it was kind of a struggle? So we found a couple of people who could offer some insight and some personal connection to poverty. So from there, what does poverty look like, and who's affected by poverty? Poverty affects every single group of people. It, the most affluent people you can imagine um, are affected by poverty. Everyone, anyone and everyone. There's not actually a, def a definition of um, origin, of color, race, class. It's, you can be in poverty and you can have a million dollar home because you're not financially sad. Um, the next day, you know, you're, you're sitting on top of your car, living in your car with your kids. I mean, it happens all the time. Lottery stories are real, a part of our society. So, um, I think that because poverty is a transitional term, it could happen to anyone at any time. Um, there's not anyone that looks the look of poverty. Um, so, I, I think that's, that's the biggest thing about it. Not making enough money to support themselves or their family. Um, they probably don't always get their basic needs met. And um, I think it's just a much harder life to live when, when you're facing poverty. Okay, so poverty doesn't have a distinct look. So it can happen to anyone. And it does happen to anyone, as we heard from several people, that poverty really isn't just some sort of defining factor of a person. So how do you get out of poverty or achieve your goal? Uh, Opportunities, financial, but more, I think, salient is uh, educational opportunities that are not being um, distributed equally across our, our society. The only chance at going to college was getting, like, super amazing grades. So um, my mom has always encouraged my education and all of my academic endeavors and everything I've ever wanted to do. She said, you know, you can, you're smart enough, you can work hard and put your mind to it and get where you want to go. So. Um, 
I graduated number three in my class by pretty much instead of like going out and having fun and learning to drive and stuff, just like working and doing AP classes and ACC classes in school. Um, I got high enough grades and was also on the low end of the poverty uh, scale to where I'm going to college on just grants and financial aid alone. So uh, I'm also living for free with my godfather and I ride the bus for free since I'm a student and I don't pay any bills. So I'm not paying a cent to go to my dream college. And uh, that's been just truly amazing that I really come from nothing. I mean, I had literally zero in a college fund, if not negative. So we ended up having our very own success story just by interviewing people. That's pretty cool that someone can go to college just on grants, basically for free, coming from nothing. So how do we change what people think about poverty? It's to be destigmatized. And so I think if we just talk more about like like you said, like making personal connections and real life people and that, you know, poor people are still people and they still work and they still have dreams and they might have made mistakes, but you keep going. We have to donate more time to donate money, to give more time to volunteer work so we can change the situation. If you get a hands-on approach and make a personal connection to poverty, you can really make a difference. I think a class like this, everybody should have to take it to graduate. Things aren't going to change unless people are made aware of the issues. So I think something like this and this being in more like mainstream media and just available to younger people can really help. Leaning on selfishness and um, caring for others and then you realize that caring for others is the only way to be. Um, it's the only way that you're going to truly help yourself um, is through helping others. It's the only way that you're going to learn something about yourself and it's the only way that you're going to live an honest and, um, you know, carefree life. So take care of your fellow people in your community and take care of yourself and that's, that's it.